Join us now for a moment of faith with Dr. Joe Arthur, pastor of the Harvest Baptist Tabernacle in Jonesboro, Georgia. This is an internet broadcast that will air daily at 12.30 p.m. and will remain on our Harvest Facebook page for you to view at any time. This broadcast is to uplift God's children and to remind us all that faith is a victory that overcometh the world. Now here's our pastor with a moment of faith, Dr. Joe Arthur. And greetings today to all of our watching, listening, gathering friends, and welcome to our program today, our gathering. We're so glad that you took a few moments out of your busy schedule today to come and join us around the Word of the Lord to turn our eyes away just a few moments from all the cares and struggles and disappointments of life and look unto Jesus, the author of the finisher of our faith, to see what God is able to do in your life and in mine in a moment of faith. If you know much about me, I thank the Lord for my heritage. I thank the Lord for the generation that went before me, that dug a well, that planted a vineyard, uh, that made an altar, that I might enjoy the blessings of the Lord. We have a generation today they don't have heroes because they're their own hero. They, they are the star in their life's role. Uh, they disassociate themselves with everything in the past, but I'm not that ignorant nor naive. Uh, we live in a world that was provided by somebody. Uh, our soldiers, our veterans gave us a free country. And when it comes to the spiritual things of God, I'm not trying to get disconnected from my past. I thank God for my dad and his friends and his companions that helped mold me and ground me and get me rooted and grounded in the doctrines of the Word of God. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Time would fail for me to mention the men of God that so greatly impacted my life. Of course, my dad a great man of God, a Christian, a wonderful pastor, a lover of people, taught me how to be a host, kind and considerate, and very doctrinally balanced and sound. What an impact what Dad had upon my life and, and Dad's companions. Oh, my time would fail, but Billy Kelly, Mays Jackson, Dr. Conoy, uh, on down the line, C.O. Roach, uh, just right on down the line, great, great, great men of God, Harold Chilton, Johnny Tickle, uh, Don Collins, uh, Stennett Ballou, Sammy Allen, Don Harrell, uh, A.W. Cooper. I mean, th the list goes on and on. And I thank the Lord today that I'm uh, living in a house I didn't build. I'm drinking from a well that I didn't dig, and I'm eating from a vineyard that I didn't plant. God has been good to me, and I appreciate that so much. But also, an area in my life that's been a blessing to me is music, gospel music. I love music. I love gospel music. I have a respect for music, the music theory, the rudiments of music. I realize what it takes to be good at it. I am not good at it. I'm what they call a wannabe player, a wannabe picker, but I, I love music. And there are some music heroes I have as well as I do uh, preacher heroes. Uh, I'm thinking about the Easter Brothers from Mount Airy, North Carolina. I'd listen to those tapes, those records, and they would teach me how to do my rhythm and my bass. Uh, the inspirations, Archie and Mike and Troy and Eddie and Martin, uh, what a blessing they were to me as a young man to put those albums on and learn how to play the rhythm and the runs. That Roger Fortner, man, as a teenage boy eating that guitar up, I just was amazed at that. I appreciate all the good groups, and time would fail me to mention the groups of the past, and there's some wonderful groups in the present. And I love and I'm praying for in the midst of this 
pandemic that God would sustain them. But I want to dedicate our program this week uh, to a great man of God that I had the privilege to preach his funeral about a year and a half ago. And he was called Mr. Gospel Trumpet, Dr. Jerry Goff from Nashville, Tennessee. Jerry Goff, what a legend in music, what a man of God, what a great preacher, but a wonderful statesman for the gospel music world. He and I met and cultivated a wonderful relationship through the Singing at Sea, Jubilee at Sea with Templeton Tours. And I appreciate uh, Maurice and Jeff giving me that opportunity to get to know Brother Goff in such a way. First time I met Brother Jerry, I was a 14-year-old boy, and I really didn't meet him, but I was in a gospel singing in Ronald Rapids, North Carolina, at the high school auditorium. Joel Hempfield and the Hempfields that just sang. And all of a sudden the lights went out and a spotlight went to the back of the auditorium. And walking down the silver, the center aisle blowing a silver trumpet, the old rugged cross was a young man in his 30s named Jerry Goff. I was smitten that night at how he could play, how he could sing. And of course I, I made a fatal attempt to try to sing like Jerry but it, it didn't ever work out. And, uh, but Jerry was my music hero. What a statesman. What a man. And I love him. And I miss him very much. He made such an impact upon my life. And I want to dedicate the programs this week to his memory, to his legacy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out several uh, songs that Jerry either wrote or he knew the writer and made it famous for them, recorded it, put it on the charts. And I'm going to give you the title of the song and a few words of that song, and then we're going to look at where they got it from in the Bible. So this week, let's go down Rimmer's Lane and let's look at some of Jerry Goff's most favorite songs and how they got them out of the Word of God. The last several years, Brother Jerry was known by... I am blessed. He wrote the song, recorded the song, charted the song, and made it very successful. I've traveled all over America, and from North Carolina and Georgia to, the, to Washington State and even California, from north in Michigan down to Fort Myers, Florida, I've heard him sing, I am blessed through the sun shining rain, even sorrow and pain. Jesus still is my comfort and guide, and his love comforts me, and his grace has set me free, and someday I shall stand by his side. I am blessed, I am blessed, every day that I live, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, till I lay my head to rest, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Hallelujah, Brother Jerry. Thank you for giving the body of Christ that wonderful song, I am blessed. Well, when I come to the book of Ephesians, chapter number one, and I listen to what Paul says in Ephesians chapter number one in verse number three, he said, blessed, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, and don't miss it, in Christ. Well, I'm glad today that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings. Paul goes on in chapter number one and mentions some wonderful spiritual blessings. Verse number five, he said, we've been selected. He says, having predestinated us, under the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. I'm glad we've been selected. I'm glad God chose to save sinners who would come by the way of the cross. He says down in verse number seven, we've been redeemed in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, 
according to the riches of His grace. Not only have I been selected, I've been saved, redeemed and forgiven by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Notice what he said in verse number 13, in whom also you trusted. After that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also after that ye believed. Ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Later on, he emphasizes that and said, We've been sealed under the day of redemption. I'm glad today I've been selected by the Father. I'm glad I have been saved by the Son. And I'm glad that I have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day that I live, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. And today, right now, this moment, our dear brother, Dr. Jerry Goff, is in the presence of the one that he praised and sang about and gave glory to that he had been blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, the world needs to hear our song and they need to hear about our great blessed Savior, our Redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ. Tell somebody today with a smile on your face because of Calvary, the blood, the Holy Spirit, the grace of God, we have been blessed. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. And we're looking forward to seeing you again.